Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial, uh, my first one. And today we're gonna do the cigarette pack. Um, and I will show you below the list of the uh, material that you need, the craft paper, the cellophane, uh, wood or styrofoam and the labels for sure. The tools as well, I've got some double face tape, some cutters, some folding bones, rulers and glue stick. That's approximately what you need for that project. Um, I hope you will enjoy it and I hope I will be clear enough uh, to follow the direction. All right, uh, let's, um, uh, let's, st let's start to get uh, set up. Uh, first, I use a piece of wood personally, which I uh, sand all the edge very smoothly. You want something round, not too sharp. Uh, you can do styrofoam if you want, but it's very light, um, which means if it's windy during that event, the pack of cigarettes will fly, and um, I don't like that at all. So now you gather all your material, uh, be sure that you got everything on hand, uh, which is the label, I use uh, uh, Lucky Strike for this example here, the cellophane, um, a very tricky material to work with, and also craft brown paper. And as I put that together, I just realized that actually I did not have uh, one part, which is the uh, tax uh, label. Uh, there's different kind of tax label. I use the uh, US Armed Force uh, overseas, but you can have the Red Cross, you can have all kind of thing, the free of tax, taxable as well. So I'm gonna cut that piece which was missing. When you cut anything during any of my project, uh, one big tip is use fresh blade as much as you can. Uh, as soon as the blade start to be dull, you're gonna rip apart what you try to cut and it's a nightmare and it's, I mean, in that case, you got different tax label, but it could be really a disaster for some project that you spend some time to print and work on and you just ruin that. First, we're gonna do a dry feet, as I call it. Uh, be sure you got extra leap over for the brown paper to fold, to do a nice fold on the top. And you do not need to get that whole piece cover in, dry, in brown paper. Uh, it's really the top, which is uh, the focus for us right now. Uh, which means, as you can see, I don't cover the bottom of it and it's fine. So you double check that it is fitting the way you want it. Be sure that the top that you're gonna fold is actually straight and parallel to the top of your wood piece. And I'm using double face tape. Uh, put that on the edge, be sure it's quite close to the edge. On this part is not crucial, but later on you will see it's very important. Uh, the beauty with double face tape is you can reposition that uh, tape if you're not happy right away, like I'm doing right now. So there we go. Now much better for me, I like it the way it is. And put my second piece of tape. As you can see, this is not straight, no big deal. Nobody will see that. What is important is to see the top of that folding brown paper. There you go, this is it. And now we're ready to fold the top. Fold the top. I'm gonna start with uh, both side, both corner side really. Uh, this is easy to fold, it's brown craft paper. Use my little tool to crease those folds. It's very important to get something nice and neat. Um, maybe too much of a perfectionist sometime, but I like that and it's easy to do it. And there we go, looks nice. Now you're ready to fold both sides. Knowing that um, I like the overlap to be the back of my pack, uh, just keep that in mind for future references um, when the way you fold it as well too. Here again, a little piece of uh, double face tape to secure everything here. And we have the uh, first part of that project done. Uh, here we go, this is it. Well done guys. Um, and now we got to do the second step, which is the label. Again, the label, you want to do a um, dry fit, uh, dry setup to see if you like or not. Right away, I noticed that my little white edge on the top here is a little bit too long, longer than I wanted really. Which I'm gonna trim a little bit of it, not much, just a little bit of it. Again, much easier when you got a sharp blade. There we go, you position it, look at the um, logo is centered to the pack and go around and see if everything is okay. And when you're happy and you get enough on the bottom, that's perfect. You're ready to go and you're ready to apply, again, the trusty double face tape. Um, for this project, for the cigarette pack, this is definitely 
uh, my weapon of choice is to secure everything really uh, it works very well for me I really like it um, there we go very nice here now uh, when you got to put that second piece of uh, double side tape be sure to put it all along the edge of that paper and be sure to get a long piece as well almost a, the length of the side of, uh, of the pack of cigarettes why because when it's folded now there's nothing uh, coming on the uh, coming loose on the side really which is very nice there we go we're gonna do the same thing as we did for the craft paper we are folding now the bottom uh, of the uh, pack of cigarettes uh, remember there's one side with a print uh, brand usually and the other side not be sure to put inside the right piece the right side if I may and not the other one it could happen and there we go again here a tiny piece of uh, double-sided tape and you've got your pack of cigarettes almost done it was not too too hard really and not too complicated now the uh, stamp on the top of the pack uh, for this I use the uh, glue stick and I like the colored glue stick why because that purple color uh, show you where you put that glue where you needed to put more if needed and it when it dries it just completely become uh, invisible which mean uh, definitely like that uh, purple uh, glue stick for sure or any color whatsoever positions out you can move it sideways if you want be sure it's nice and even on both sides and there we go this is already uh, done and you can use it the way it is now you don't have to do the cellophane if you don't want to this is perfect like that now cellophane that's a very tricky material to work with it's very thin very flimsy remember what I told you about the sharp knife the sharp blade very very important for cellophane this is uh, this is something very very hard to cut if your blade is not sharp also um, the only thing you can glue it very well without uh, shrinking it without um, doing a mess is definitely that double face uh, double sided tape double face tape double sided tape um, glue it's very tricky it could melt depending on the glue that cellophane remember cellophane it's a natural product believe it or not it's biodegradable which mean uh, double face tape work fine really uh, here approximative cut you want to have a little bit on the top a little bit on the bottom to do that uh, folding I use the grid on my cutting uh, mat as a reference really um, you can see approximately the sizes I give you an idea each square is one inch uh, if you want the size let me know but really you don't need to um, be sure to get enough top and bottom and be sure you get enough to wrap around you can overlap a little bit differently and again try to overlap as you can see on the edge on the narrow part of the pack of cigarettes like they are in real uh, which means it's also nicer and give you a front and a back uh, very clean actually to look at uh, again very important here on both sides uh, the first part and the second part to put that double-sided tape at the edge of the cellophane really really important there uh, especially that part we're doing right now why because again you don't want to have a piece of cellophane hanging around and not being taped smoothly and that piece if it's not taped smoothly will be cut in any kind of thing in your pocket or whatever which will be a mess so be sure to get that and when it's done you can barely see where actually the tape is and that's the beauty of that tape and that cellophane here now the folding that's a little bit tricky um, patience is needed uh, cellophane is not a material who fold very well and work very well um, doesn't even if you use that uh, bone tool uh, it doesn't actually memorize necessarily the fold very well which means patience um, you learn to do that with one hand and two hands sometime and take uh, it takes some time to get used to it but uh, it works it will work you will you will succeed I'm confident oh sorry I'm out of the camera there there we go in that case I will actually fold one part and put a tape on the top and after that fold the other part on top of the tape uh, much easier I figure uh, with experience this way uh, have tiny piece you don't see on the camera here tiny piece coming uh, 
outside it's bothering me as you can see right now but i will take care of that later on try to do the, the bottom the same way now again very tricky uh you know i folded both sides but it's not easy to fold and that piece uh who hang on the top that i fold is bothering me i'm gonna go get my scissors now to cut it because um i don't like to see that which mean got my scissor and cut that extra length here it's, it's not much but there we go much clearer now now i can do the second step all right let's fold that top here there we go again um you got to mark it the over and hold it with your fingers uh as you do that cut your little piece you need a, just a tiny piece for that you don't need much and there we go fold it sorry i'm outside the camera there we go and cut that extra length and that's it and guess what guys we have a pack of cigarettes for reenactments ready to go uh like a brand new one i hope you enjoy that video really um and you can do so many kind so many uh, i've got six that i made different kind here but i've got a few more to make i got some uh, calls to make and over brand from england but i hope you enjoy i hope it didn't go too far don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my instagram account thank you very much and see you next time